Hi, I'm Kay Choi. Welcome to my channel. About a month ago, I posted a video called Why I Don't Miss London, just talking about a few of the things that have helped me accept and move on from living in London to living back in the US, and many of you had a positive reaction to it, just in the sense that you could relate to some of the things that I was saying. But if you've spent time on my channel, then you know that I love London, and I have, you know, tried to live my life to the fullest while there and explore everything that it has to offer. No place is perfect, and that's why I wanted to show that other side of my experience in London, but today I wanted to share the reasons I do miss London because, as I have said before, I love London so much. It's an amazing city and I have lots of friends living there, so I just wanted to share some of the things that make London great. Number one is the public transportation. I live in Los Angeles, which is a city designed for cars, so you need to have a car to get around anywhere really efficiently, especially if you're going to different parts of the city because LA is so spread out. London, on the other hand, while it is large, is not as large as LA, and the city is just so well connected by the tube, which is the subway, the bus system. Basically, just with the public transportation of buses and the metro, I could get around everywhere. Not only were there bus stops and tube stops so close to each other, but they also ran all throughout the night. The tube, only certain lines were 24 hours, and the one that I lived on was not 24 hours, but I did have plenty of night buses that would go through my area and make it really easy for me to get home. It's also a very walkable city in my opinion and that's something I love too because I think walking is a great way to explore a city. Uh, you get to see things that you wouldn't normally see if you were just trying to go from point A to point B. The only thing though is that the public transportation in London is pretty expensive. It's like one of the most expensive that I've seen but I did have a student travel card that I prepaid so I just paid a lot of money up front but then was able to use it an unlimited amount of times over the year that I was in London so that did make it convenient for me. And while traveling on the tube during rush hour was really really not my favorite thing to do but I had to do it because I had morning classes. When the tube was not crowded it was great because I could listen to podcasts or read or something other than focusing on driving. Number two is the Christmas decorations. So right now it's obviously the holiday Christmas season. It's Vlogmas right Right now and LA is hot as usual. There are actually fires going on around the city which is very very scary um, but on the flip side in the east coast of America and as well as in the UK it's snowing. I was seeing on my Instagram feed today um, all of the pictures of snow in London and London hardly gets snow I think so that's pretty pretty cool. I kind of wish I was there to play in the snow. Aside from the snow I love London's Christmas lights and Christmas decorations and all of the main areas of town and I love that there are Christmas markets. I really like the South Bank Christmas Market. That one is pretty big and has a lot going on and it's next to the River Thames so it's a very scenic and beautiful area. And this goes into the third thing I miss about London which is their markets in general which are just year-round so my favorites include Borough Market, the Columbia Road Flower Market, and I also really like Portobello Road Market just for browsing and looking at antiques and things Things that I might not actually buy. In LA there are farmers markets and local markets like that but I feel like you have to kind of make a trip out of it to go to them instead of in London when you could literally just like take the tube a couple stops and then find yourself at Borough Market. I really miss the free museums that are in London because in LA museums are really expensive except for like there's the Getty Center which has free admission but you do have to pay for parking and then you take this tram like up a hill so it's kind of a hassle to get there. It takes a lot of effort whereas in London there are so many museums in such a close vicinity to each other and they are free for the most part except for the special exhibitions. I always appreciated the free museums because I was a student so I wasn't about to be spending like 20 pounds on a museum ticket or anything like that and it also provided so many things to do just if you found yourself in the city. If I was showing some friends around we could just pop into a museum. It's it's free, there's things to look at, we could be sheltered from the cold if it was cold outside, so I miss having that option. I also randomly miss the grocery shopping in London because um, in the UK in general I find the groceries to be cheaper than they are in LA, so it was so easy to stay on a budget for me. Um, the only thing is the produce in LA is 
definitely much better because we are in California and there are so many things that grow here whereas in the UK things are imported like avocados for example so that was you know, not as good as what I had in LA. The food also would expire very quickly, which was a nuisance at times, but it just meant that the food is very fresh and there aren't all these kinds of preservatives in them like there are in the US. So I felt like I was putting better things into my body when I grocery shopped over there. I miss the tea culture. I still do drink a lot of tea here, but I just found myself drinking way more tea in London simply because of the weather. It's, you know, often gray and not so rainy but kind of misty outside and you just want to be cozy and drink a warm cup of tea so I really miss having that as part of my routine and here in LA I try to drink tea usually after dinner I'll have like peppermint tea or chamomile tea to help me digest or relax but I don't really often have tea in the morning or the middle of the day because I just I just don't crave it here but I do miss that I of course miss my friends in London and I miss how global London is even though America is a melting pot and there are people from all over the world here, I think in London specifically, there is such a diversity. And although I felt like an outsider at times being Korean instead of Chinese and then being Korean American instead of like British Asian, um, it was still so cool that there were people from all over the world. I miss having that global perspective in my friend group because here in LA most of my friends are Asian American or Korean American like me and that just tends to happen especially in LA where there is already such a big Korean American community. You just tend to gravitate towards people that you can relate with and who can like understand you I guess on a deeper level. So it just happens like that not necessarily on purpose but in London um, um, because I was a little bit of an outsider, you know, I had a more diverse group of friends which was such an amazing thing to have and I still keep in touch with them and it's so great to have that support system and also learn from each other and learn from each other's cultures that way. There are so many other things that I miss about London. It's my home away from home where I lived for 12 months of my life and I got to experience the four seasons there which was difficult at times and depressing especially around this time of year but it made me into who I am I guess you could say. Um, I miss just exploring different restaurants and cafes that are just blocks away from my apartment, taking the tube and walking around and not just feeling tied to my Google Maps to direct me where to drive and park. I don't know when I will next be in London, but I do hope it is soon. My graduation ceremony for my master's program is next summer, but I don't know if I will be able to make it out there because it is quite expensive and it is a large time commitment as well just to fly the like eight nine ten hours it takes to get there so we will see if i am able to go visit london again in the summer for my graduation ceremony but if not i really hope to be able to visit again soon and see my friends and visit some of my favorite spots from when i was living there anyway that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and please leave in the comments below what your favorite parts about london are i would love to read them and i will see you guys tomorrow bye